Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everyone, welcome to the Waterworks Mall here in Pittsburgh, PA. We're in the Fox Chapel neighborhood anyway, and this is the video I was telling you guys about when I filmed the Pier 1 imports and did the five below right up the center here. And yeah, I was telling you guys about the Bed Bath & Beyond, which was closing. We're down to the last 11 days here at this particular location, and they are closing multiple locations of theirs. Several stores are going. Uh, due to poor sales and the fact that the virus really took a toll on them. Anyway, we're here to keep the memory of this one alive because, I mean, you know, people work here. They make friends here, family, whatever. It's same thing like with the Kmart. Everybody considers themselves family when they're working together. I mean, I do at my job. So anyway, I'm here to keep the place alive once this place closes anyway. So let's go inside and check it out. I wish Kayla was here with me, but unfortunately that is not the case because she's at work. So I'm here alone and well, let's just make the best of it. Although I'll say it's more fun when she's around. All right, let's go in. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. more than I thought I would. They have a lot more stuff than I thought they would. A lot of fixtures. Wow. Wow, this desk isn't bad. I like that desk, but they want 125 for it. That's outrageous. Wow, it's really emptied out. Oh, it is a shelving back here. Looks like a mattress. Couple of mattresses, some furniture. This desk isn't bad, though. I like this desk. Sold, though. place is practically abandoned.
I like how they have an overabundance of my pillow. They couldn't give these things away if they tried. That's funny. How much do they want for them? $23.99. Jeez. They're not even that good. They're really not. And all I could think of is the Djibouti dubs video where they dubbed over it and it was pretty filthy, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> Just look that up if you want to see something funny. Up here towards the front is where they have everything left. All kinds of tables, chairs. fixtures all kinds of fixtures they have caulking guns ex surge protectors folders binders soap bed risers razors clipboards flashlights highlighters <laughs> All right. Lots of hand sanitizer. Calculators. <laughs> Oops. It's the liquidator's office. This is everything left. Just what you see up here. That's everything. The rest of the store is empty. Nothing but fixtures. Wow, these prices are still outrageous, honestly. This is probably why they're liquidating. Look at all the, the uh, display appliances. They have tons. They're non-working. $25 each, your choice. Why would you want something that doesn't work for that much? I'm sorry, but that's silly. <laughs> And they have more over here too. $25, your choice. It's so silly. I can't justify that. I'm digging the lamp, but... That's way too much. Way too much. <laughs> I like the pillows. Waves, beach, sunshine, peace. I like that. offensive <laughs> lots of bed sheets comforters it's all sizes that are king or twin uncommon more pillows more sheet sets Christmas. <laughs> Can't believe they still have some Christmas stuff. I like that pillow. <laughs> oh well. 
Not much left though. I'm baffled by all the foam things. More my pillows. Holy crap. A hundred dollars for this? Are you joking? That's outrageous. These three tiered stands are nice. Like three and a half feet tall. They're very nice, but I just can't justify $56. That's, that's still like, plus they're beat up. They're not even like in the greatest of shape. Look how the legs are coming off. But they're nice. I just wish they weren't that much. <laughs> Honestly. Over here we have tons of peg hooks. Lots of peg hooks. Getting everything sold if they can. More extension cords. Tons of them. And then check this out behind me. Let's go over here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Look at me. <laughs> it's coming down to the very end here. It's the last 11 days as of the recording. They still have this for sale. It's a step two play set, like toolbox. It's kind of cool. 70 bucks. Jeez. Cool though. Lots of chairs. I have lots of chairs, but. I'm sorry, they're just a little, a little pricey. What's in here? Let's go look. Ah, just the other side of the store. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Nothing special. Just the my pillows off to my right. The plethora of my pillows. Oh, you should buy my product. It's a great one. Duh, it's a great product. You should buy it. <laughs> Man, just what a shame. Oh, well. Oh my god, I'll be seeing this guy in my sleep. Jeez. <laughs> Seriously, they cannot get rid of these things to save their life. <laughs> oh well, here's the last of what they have. A few towels. I like this one. I like that. Wish they had more than just one. Oh well. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that look here at the Bed Bath & Beyond here in the Waterworks Mall here in Fox Chapel. I was blown away with how astronomically high some of the prices were in here still. Even though they got 11 days left and things are 40 to 70% off, it just blows my mind how much certain things were. There were a couple of items that caught my interest and I was curious, I was thinking about buying it, I was tempted. But I'm just like, I, I just can't justify these prices. It's weird. I mean, a couple of things I've seen in there on sale, I can find over at, and I hate to say it, Walmart for less than that brand new. 
and that's a shame because I'd rather support a place like Bed Bath & Beyond and others over Walmart, but I just can't justify those prices. Now, that's not the price set by the store itself. That's set by the liquidator there, and if you know anything about that, oftentimes they raise prices on things, but that's just, that's mind-blowing just how much certain things in there were. A, a floor lamp, for crying out loud, $77. I mean, yeah, it might be new, but you're talking to someone that penny pinches like me, and I found floor lamps like that for 20 bucks new elsewhere, and I mean, if I really want to go cheap, go to Goodwill or a thrift store, and I'll find one there. I mean, how do you think I made my Kmart lamps that I have? So, I just can't justify $77 on that. They had a lot of hand baskets in there and cards. I didn't ask about any of that. I mean, I could have, but do I really need another hand basket? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back and ask, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up. Uh, I'm just, I don't mean to sound ignorant or mean, but I just can't believe how high the prices are and some of those things in there, and it's just a shame. I mean, I've hardly ever shopped at Bed Bath & Beyond to begin with, so who knows, maybe that was normal for that place, but um, I'm just blown away. I wanted to go in there and check it out, and ironically, I was looking for new pillows, but I don't want to get those my pillows because they are not that good. I mean, there's a reason why there's tons and tons of them there. Nobody wants them. So, anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm going to take off. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. Boy, is it really busy out here. Everywhere I look, there's people getting into their cars, off camera. <laughs> it's a madhouse out here on a weekday. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And on Kayla's behalf, have a Bed Bath & beyond licious day. beyond licious. Kind of worked, I guess. What's that beeping? Anyway, take care, everybody. Bye.